It's Wednesday, November 2nd, 2011. I'm Bridget Carey on CNET.com, and it's time to get loaded. You may be paying taxes soon on Amazon purchases, that is, if lawmakers get their way. Two Republican senators are introducing a bill to force Amazon and other out-of-state online stores to collect sales taxes, and it's being supported by retailers like Walmart and Best Buy. But this isn't just a Republican issue. A few months ago, some Democratic lawmakers proposed a similar action. But according to Wells Fargo study, even if Amazon started charging tax, it still would be 10% cheaper than buying from Walmart. So you know when you get a Facebook friend request from someone you don't really know, but you see you have one friend in common, so you figure, eh, maybe I met this person before. You know, they kind of look familiar. And then you add them to your friends. Yeah, well, stop doing that. There are fake accounts trying to dupe you into adding them, and it's working. A university was able to dupe thousands of users into befriending bots. And when there was just one friend in common, more people were okay with saying yes to the connection. When added as a friend, the fake accounts could access profile information and collected 250 gigabytes of personal data. So next time you get a friend request from someone you don't remember, don't just blindly click accept. If you're going to buy a tablet this year, perhaps as a gift, you need to be careful not to buy a knockoff. A report found more than 23,000 website listings for clone or counterfeit tablet computers in a single day. To trick buyers into thinking they're getting a discounted iPad or Motorola Zoom, they might blur the brand name in a photo. Some tips for spotting fakes? If a strange site is selling for one that's more than 50% less than everyone else, it's probably too good to be true. And this might go without saying for the savvy geek, but it's also a fake if they're selling one that hasn't been released in stores yet. If you didn't think there were enough Daily Deal Groupon clones out there already, another one launched today with a simple name, DailyDeals.com. Aside from timing the launch just when Groupon is about to close the books on its IPO tomorrow, DailyDeals.com markets itself as the anti-Groupon. It won't do any local deals, just national and online merchants. Sprint Nextel has formed a mobile security council to fight the villainy that seeks to infect our handsets with malware. It's a growing problem, especially with Android phones. McAfee found 44 Android malware threats just in the second quarter, compared with four on BlackBerry and none on the iPhone. The council consists of IBM and Cisco systems, as well as phone makers like Samsung and Motorola. But the two biggest players in mobile, Apple and Google, are not on the team. That's like having a Justice League without Batman or Superman. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Bridget Carey for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.